So, uh, <clears throat> uh, that was, uh, that, then, then there was, uh, 2002, there was the bomb, there was the bombs, uh, in New York City and the Pentagon, uh, September 11th, 2001, and, uh, I lived with my grandpa, he was, uh, he was in the Navy from the, the draft of World War II that went, uh, he got in a submarine, New London Harbor that went all the way to China, and then the surrender of Japan and back to New London Harbor in the same submarine got the Congressional Medal of Honor, stayed in the Navy, uh, stayed in touch with the President since his gift of the Congressional Medal of Honor and the King and Queen of Sweden, Stockholm, Stockholm, uh, his, his whole while from uh, the draft of World War II till 2003. So he was, he was the one that was taking me on and off the boats right there at the dock. And uh, he was the one funding the private tutors so that my main school focus in K through 12 would be uh, nuclear submarines is uh, in, uh, during the Clinton administration, one of, one of the options that was opening up was uh, to be a, a submarine pilot for, or a submarine crew member that would leave the Fort Trumbull or some other uh, dock that, that hadn't been created yet, drive to the Long Island uh, underwater research facilities where they helped develop pain and sonar during the 1940s as a civilian, a scientist, a crew member, or a civilian, uh, a, c a civilian scientist, scholar, Scholar, civilian, scientist, uh, crew member. Yeah, they they go down to the the base under the Long Island Sound and help develop the North Atlantic Space Station. But then there was the bombs, and they said uh, Bush Jr. a month later said it would be a military only zone. All of the underwater base and all the submarine, everything in this area would be a military only for the next rest of forever. And uh, my position would turn once I submerged from that base, you know, hiding out as if it was a fallout shelter with Navy admirals, uh, pol pol uh, high-ranking pol political figures, and bombs, and guns, and soldiers. Um, I would I would join the junior Navy uh, uh, reserve uh, officers. Go through go through that 2003, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 as well as Junior Coast Guard 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, as well as Explorer PD two, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, Fire, and Medic, the same years, uh, until, you know, summer 2008 where I got a hand injury, and now I've just been in med tent for 11 years straight as a patient of uh, someone who had formerly received severe head trauma. So uh, I don't really have a direction. I don't really have money enough to pick my own direction. If you could do anything when you grew up, what would you be? Well, all of my training, uh, ages 0 through 18, is kind of null and void thrown out the window. And uh, once I'm off these meds, uh, everything meds related will be a big hazy dream where I was simply recovering. So the only thing I've been able to do this past 11 years was hold down nine months worth of part-time minimum wage labor as a dishwasher, a, a stock boy, or a, a casino bathroom attendant slash slot wife. Um, that's it. That's my work history experience since, since developing the injury as far as on books. Off books under the table, plenty of house chores, plenty of yard work, um, built some building remodeling.